I'm Ralph Horowitz. I cover higher education for the Austin American Statesman. The University of Texas system owns 2.1 million acres of land in West Texas, land blessed with oil that has pumped billions of dollars into the endowments of the UT system and the Texas A&M University system. But here at Santa Rita No. 1, where it all began in 1923, some of the land is devoid of vegetation because salt water, a byproduct of oil production, contaminated the soil before safer methods of disposal were mandated in the 1960s. Obviously it's been a tremendous challenge and remains a challenge. Steve and Hartman, Executive uh, Director of University uh, Lands for the UT system, has been chipping away at the problem since 1974. They had no mechanism back at that time to dispose of the, of the produced water, and they built concrete-lined channels, and they took that water and then to a central point, and it was evaporated. But what they didn't realize what was happening is that those concrete channels were leaking, and it was just going straight down. Portions of about 7,000 denuded acres, known as the Texon Scar, have been restored, but about 1,200 acres remain barren. The, the migration happened beneath the surface and then uh, at, through evaporation then ultimately then the salts came back up to the surface and that's what ultimately caused the destruction of the vegetation. The UT system has spent a million dollars on reclamation projects over the years and is now experimenting with plants to see which tolerate salty conditions. Just from the from an aesthetic standpoint, I mean, it's, it, I just feel like it's the right thing to do. Hartman says these efforts are worthwhile because the land unlike the oil, is a renewable resource. So to revegetate it and, and have it uh, much more presentable is sort of my goal and has been for a very long time.